today I went down to fly my Chinook and found to my dismay that my tail wheel was flat and that I undoubtedly ruined it myself. This is the tail wheel here which is actually the tire from a, a kid's uh, Razor scooter. I found it fits the Chinook pretty well. Uh, the original tail wheel went bad on it and I tried to get another one but they can't get them anymore. They're not made and I don't think they're allowed to import them from Taiwan so uh, I got this one for a Razor scooter. You can get them on eBay. Uh, you get the tire and the wheel and everything and the inner tube and uh, it seems to make a real good tail wheel for the Chinook. But uh, <clears throat> what my problem was after I got it home and took it apart, the reason it went flat was, well let's see how my new camera does here. This right here, if you can see it, is a little tiny like blister it looks like. Uh, it's almost right opposite this uh, the Schrader valve here where the air, air goes into the inner tube. And uh, what happened was this rubber extruded probably because I put too much pressure in it. It says here it's supposed to be 36 psi on the tire but uh, I didn't have a tire gauge down there at the time I was adding air because it was a first time down in the spring and I just pumped it up till I thought well that's pretty hard that ought to be all right but I might have put a whole lot more air in there than 36 psi so the rubber extruded and I believe what happened is it extruded in here where the uh, Schrader valve goes you'll notice that there's on the two halves of this thing uh, if you put them together let's see if I can do it like that that uh, they're both at the same spot but probably for balance reasons I assembled it this way so that this was opposite where the Schrader valve was and therefore rubber could go through there so it isn't much of a you know when they're bolted together it isn't too much of a gap that it could go in but it can extrude in this area and so I'm going to put a piece of uh, tape on there to fix that uh, so that it can't extrude in through there again and also I believe I'll probably put this in line with the other one like so uh, where the Schrader valve comes out and because the rubber uh, around the Schrader valve in this area is quite a bit thicker and heavier where they glued that Schrader valve on I probably have less chance of getting a hole in it but anyways I did it to myself so that's what went wrong with that and uh, I'm going to see if I can't fix that up. I'm going to put a patch on here. i got a patch kit and I'll see if I can patch it. I'll fix that little little blister right there and it should be alright. I found this hole by pumping it up and submerging it in water to see where the air bubbles come from. And I'm using a patch kit on here that costs uh, about 95 cents I think it was and it comes with a buffer here they call it. It's just something that scratches that rubber a little bit to get it good and cleaned off. Uh, you don't want to use any oil on this because this is butyl rubber. Alcohol might be alright but not oil. And uh, I get it cleaned up best I can. Then you have to put some of this glue on there. Buy something in 20 years it's shot. It's been sitting around a long time, so use that to put the hole in the tube. Now I can smear some some glue around on here. And that's basically all you do. Just smear it around that. Make sure your hands are clean when I'm doing this because I don't want to come off again. Don't want to be stuck on some runway with no tailwheel. There you go pretty stinky stuff and now we're supposed to let it dry before we put the patch on there. Okay, now I'm ready to put the patch on. Got a little cut in here to I can get a hold of the stuff. Pretty sticky stuff. I don't want to touch it anymore. I can help. And that baby there is going to go right dead square over that little blister on there. And 
that'll fix it good. Let's push it down good. And no more leaking. But before I put this back in the tire, I will take it and test it. The other thing I had to do was, well, I cleaned up the end of that because that was getting kind of banged up. I can't can't use a dust cap on here because it comes too close to the fork on the tail wheel. So I kind of ground that off a little bit, and then I this these things have a die in there, so you can it'll recut those threads on there. You can make sure that that turns easy, and if you want to clean out the threads where the valve stem goes in you've got that this thing here is useful for cleaning out the where the valve stem goes in there or the valve gut I should say valve gut it's a little Schrader valve but anyways uh, there really just isn't much clearance when this thing's spinning around so I can't have a dust cover on it I really don't like that that's that's not so good about it but anyways I don't know if you can see it or how well you can see it but there's the patch on there and I will test it uh, I'll put the Schrader valve in which is that's what this piece here is used for screwing in the Schrader valve and then it'll be ready to put a little bit of air in submerge it in a tub of wire water and see if I got any bubbles it should not leak I have a piece of real strong kind of cloth tape on there to kind of fill this some of this hole so I don't get it wanting to extrude through there again and uh, there's my patch I don't know if you can see it too well my patch is on there check it in uh, water look for any bubbles just put a little bit of air in here to you know you don't want to stretch the tube out too much but I I got it uh, to where there's no no air bubbles or anything coming out uh, sometimes you have little bubbles that want to stick to it. You want to make sure you rub it a little bit, make sure the bubbles are all off of it. And then wait and see if any more bubbles form. Particularly you want to check this valve too and anything around this stem to see if it leaks and it doesn't. So I think I'm all repaired. I'm ready to put this baby back together and hopefully I won't be so stupid next time. Now it's time to put some air in it. It's possible for you to see it or not with the way the light is in here, but it's upside down for you. But it says here pressure 36 psi is what it says right there. And uh, so, being as it's kind of hard to see back under the stabilizer and stuff on that plane, I'm going to use some of this stuff here. It's uh, it's uh, they call it fashion show it's it's a uh, paint you can get at any uh, old hobby or craft store they use it for writing on t-shirts and things like that uh, but I use it a lot for marking wires you can get all different colors uh, for something like this I notice it stays on rubber real well oil don't take it off it seems to stay real good of course it has to to go through the washing machine it's a water based stuff you can clean it up if you get it on you soap and water will take it off your hands before it gets dry so uh, I'm gonna mark this I'm not gonna go 36 but I think I'll put I think I'll put 40 on there see 40 and uh, maybe that will uh, keep me from uh, pumping too much uh, air into it again yeah yeah I like that that'll be all right 
and it seems like it held up okay. I tested it again in water to make sure there's no bubbles. And uh, 